Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. This is the podcast after we challenged uh, people to fights. Nigel, I can't oh, believe no. you <laughs> said that you would fight Simone. Uh, <laughs> so inappropriate of you. <laughs> Um, and the second podcast after the two missing podcasts, which why did we not post them? Oh, yeah, one was controversial, and the other one, what, I don't what, remember. Why? What was the other one? I never even looked at I think it may have been the one with you but, and Sandra and me and Chelsea. No, I think we posted I have a that question. one, right? Did we post that one? Yeah. No, I don't think so. What? I, I just have a question. Why did you not just number them? <laughs> What do you mean? Like, like when you cut the podcast, you don't have to skip numbers. You I, just... I thought it, I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I thought it was just... funny. <laughs> oh God! It's not even a meme. It's just straight up two unposted ones. I haven't even watched the one that the controversial one. I just it was after all the Texas stuff, and I was like, the Texas laws came out, and it kind of like some of the stuff sort of irked me a little bit, and so we uh, we talked about it, and no one gets to know our opinions about it because it will literally, no matter no matter what our opinion is, it will piss somebody off. That means you have a good, you know, if you have an opinion that pisses off everybody, that means that you're probably right. Yeah, I mean, and, that's and not even a right joke, in dude. The middle. There's no, there's no <laughs> such thing as like a like a fuzzy zone on the internet. There's no in between. Like people get mad at people for being in between too. It's like pick a side already, and you're just like, oh, no, I think there's more nuance. And this is what I do. Politics mm. sucks. There's I think no poli- nuance. They need it's to take only politics. right. It's only right and wrong. Well, and I'm, I'm usually I, right. I'm, I'm always usually right. wrong. <laughs> I'm always wrong. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. I just I feel like I wish politics were treated more like engineering. You know, like here's a problem. How do we solve it? You know, we, yeah. you know, like, you know, like the old men who build like train sets in their basement. We need those guys mm. running public transportation. Seriously. Yeah. Like, like no, no politics at all. They're just like uh-uh. somebody who's got 25,000 hours in the city. They're just, they're super <laughs> into maker, trains. Whatever it's called. They're like, I, I want to make this train set as efficient as possible. And then you're like, you know what? Here's real trains. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then they're then they're gonna do something bad. Like you know, they're gonna forget about humanity, and they're just gonna make like, the what if we made the trains go eight hundred miles an hour? <laughs> yeah, at like the complete expense of human rights. What if we made a train go in a loop? <laughs> it's like an AI that you give them one task, and they just destroy humanity to do the task, and then everything is exactly trains. Yeah. only yeah. trains. <laughs> you, you have two. You have two rules you have to follow. <laughs> Make the train set really, make the trains really efficient and don't kill people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can, oh, wait, those are at odds with each other in some Crap. cases. It should have been don't hurt people because killing people yeah. is very vague. If you make them live their entire <laughs> lives on the train, the trains will be very efficient because they'll never have to leave the train. So they'll always be on time. <laughs> mm. Starting and stopping doesn't matter. <laughs> um, there was a couple things I wanted to talk about. I had this, uh, I don't know. What do we talk about first? Like, there was man. I already forgot. One of them was uh, um, our scheme. Oh yeah, there's a scheme. But why are you? I don't even know what this scheme is. Oh, George well, gave me good thing. You should ask ha- Nigel. Yeah, thanks Alex. for asking. I didn't ask. Scheme. I right. didn't ask. I just said I didn't know what it was. Um, I, I kind of like not knowing. Okay, so here's my scheme. <laughs> it's not even a good scheme. It's just like it's it's like uh, someone who who builds trains in their basement all day kind of scheme. <laughs> um, so you know, like crypto. No, I never heard of it. This is my don't Logan say NFTs. Paul arc. <laughs> no NFTs. I don't really understand NFTs. Um, crypto. What is the thing that everyone hates about crypto? I mean, I know. It's an well, easy question. What, uh, Nigel? What do you think? Because I know Will's scheme already. Kevin's way out of focus now. Focus on your background. Oh, my trash. <laughs> 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 it's uh, my trash. No, I would say. I mean, you said that everybody hates. I'm sure yeah. that there are many things that a lot of people hate, but I'm assuming it's the energy cost. Yeah. Right. Yes. So, I have an idea. I've actually had very similar ideas for a while. Kevin and I have talked about the other ideas too. Um, the thing that people don't like about crypto is that you're doing a lot of work for essentially nothing Hmm. because you're like spending, you're like, it costs electricity to mine crypto, but the issue is that you're not, it's like, you're kind of unnecessarily using electricity, but you need to have a cost associated in order to keep the crypto scarce. It's like a digital gold, right? Where it's like people have agreed that gold is worth money and it's kind of hard to pull gold out of the ground. And so if you want to get more gold, it's usually easier to do work for the gold than to try to actually mine the gold, you know, like to do labor, 
Like I'm going to do labor to get gold as opposed to digging a hole in the ground to get gold. So crypto has like this, this effort, like, like monumental effort to get stuff out. The consequence of that though, is that it's, it's a lot of energy and the energy goes into doing like not important work. And I looked in and there's like some cool cryptos that do like, like protein folding and stuff where it's like using a crypto network to like do complicated math problems, like a supercomputer. Which actually um, like a so byproduct like, least, is useful information. Right. But I have a bigger brain idea because it's way more brain dead than protein folding. Um, what are things that need heat? Like uh, like heating your house unfolding or a water proteins. heater, unfolding <laughs> proteins or like, like heating a swimming pool. What if we like took, like we took crypto mining and used it to like heat stuff, like heat water in your house. Like imagine if your water heater was like mining crypto and the byproduct <laughs> was hot water. That's a good. It's a good idea. What's the what's what's the efficiency? Uh, I mean, well, electric I guess water just heaters are that just a heating element. Yeah, basically, right? Like most of your energy just ends up being heat. Yeah. So I like, don't know what it the is. The right with, answer, with crypto. You know, it's just heat. Yeah, but I mean, like the money. Well, I guess yeah. No, so hold like, on. I mean, it's not going into. It's not like going into internet <clears throat> electrons or something. It's no, it's, it's like it just. I, it just like it. It must just end up like I don't know what the numbers are. It has to be mostly heat. It's. Right? It is all heat. It's like all. If you, heat. if you put in like one watt, you just get out one watt of basically. Heat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So my idea, yeah, I had the same idea too with air conditioners. Like an air conditioner. Like what is an air conditioner's byproduct? Is like heat. Yeah. You're pumping and then, like, what do heat you, what, from here, putting it yeah. over there. You're like, you're, you're literally, you have a shovel and you're like scooping heat out of the house and you're throwing it outside. Where it and belongs. You, where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> no, your place, trash. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what if you took an air conditioner and instead of, yeah. a, you know, like the giant cage, like the giant box air conditioners are, 90% of the, the box is a, 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 um, a radiator. Yeah. Yeah, the actual compressor is like this big in the center. Tiny little thing. The thing that makes the humming noises. Um, and so it's like, what if you took an air conditioner and you got rid of the radiator and you hooked it up to your swimming pool? <laughs> well, yeah. they do have uh, like the water-cooled air conditioners. So you're supposed but to put the it on a tap. Hot. Right. But then but I'm saying you're what if you wanted hot water? And then dump it down the drain. But what if you wanted hot water? Yeah. yeah. And so you could use think, your air conditioner to heat yeah. your pool. I've thought about like cavemaning yeah, yeah. this before too by like building yeah. an enclosure around my air conditioner and like yeah. pumping water through it. Because if you if you have an air conditioner, and you said like, there's like, just like, a limitation on you can't it work for a pool because you don't actually make a pool hot, right? Right. But like making actual hot water wouldn't work because there does it have would. to be some like difference in temperature. Yeah, I just you think could. I think your efficiency just starts getting crappier and crappier, right? Well, it's like, it's the perfect efficiency. Oh, you mean like if it's really hot? Yeah, you could do something. Because you're going like, to have to pump a lot of water over it. So you're going to just have a pump running like crazy. Whereas if it's yeah. cold, you can run like water slowly. Well, your, your pool pump's yeah. always going to be running anyway for at least 12 hours. That is true. Okay. I don't know about, I don't know. And then, and then at pools. night, you're not going to be running the pool pump or the air conditioner as much. So you're not going to be like having to pump a lot of water through it. Yeah. I think with the, with the, crypto water heater you probably i don't know see that's the thing the thing is like i don't know how hot the asics can be like how hot the chips can be so it's like are they allowed to be 100 degrees c like can you actually or no how hot's a water heater like 100 it's, it's not hot know, at wait, all 100, it's like 40, 140 so f 45 with the question c? is how are you extracting the heat oh yeah you don't want your oh, water you just, heater you, to get you any just, hotter than you bolt it you bolt it to right to the side of the tank you like oh, because I was your, gonna say you take your crypto you a, unit and you just bolt it to the side, the internal tank of have, the water heater. Have you seen the gas water heaters could, where they have the chimney through the center? You just like put the ASIC yeah, at the bottom, yeah. facing up. <laughs> you could do a cooler idea. Uh, you could get the uh, I forget what it's called. It's gotten more popular recently. It's called I think it's called Novec. So it's um, it's a fluorinated uh, like carbon chain solvent thing, and it's used to. I mean, there's videos on YouTube of people doing that. They've cooled whole computers with it. And Just like fill their computer with it. 
Like entirely yeah, the computer's with liquid. completely uh, immersed in water. Yeah, I've seen. So the instant I start googling and stuff, of course, people have come up with this, this these ideas before. I think it's um, fun because I have Novak and I haven't. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> haven't figured out anything to do with it yet. I've seen somebody they use like transformer oil, or they'll do like computers with mineral yeah. oil, they'll submerge yeah. them. And so I've seen some of the crypto units. Like okay, so like you know how like uh, like big. But the buildings, oil doesn't have good heat transfer, does it? Well, it's 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 so encompassing. Yeah, that, yeah it exactly. Really it's, oh. There's so much of it. Um, but like the, like a building, like a building in like the cold, like a cold area will have like a furnace or like a boiler room, mm. right? And then they like, it makes steam and the steam is used to like transport heat around the building. Yeah. So like you could have your boiler room, but it's just like a bunch of crypto mining machines <laughs> attached to a tank of water. <laughs> They'd be great and if I you live up north. Yeah, a guy did this. A guy totally did this. He built this whole box that had like a bunch of crypto units in it. And uh, he attached it, like he filled it full of like transformer oil. And the transformer oil gets like pumped into basically the, like to heat water up. And then the water gets piped through the house Hmm. to heat the house. That's pretty big brain. So my question again, though, is like, because computers, you can't, I mean, I guess it runs idly at like 60C, right? Okay. Oh, dude, crypto so mining, get, crypto mining rigs are like it's literally balls to the wall. Like, yeah, screaming. you want to use as much power. Yeah, like constantly okay. pulling. Okay, but like I mean, 3, generally watts. going above, like if you start going to like, I guess you can go to like 80, it's, 90. But once are, you start getting higher than that, you're yeah. just like destroying your your. These your are life ASICs, time, though. Right so I think they're probably. I don't know more anything stable. about this. They're, it's a it's a com- it's a chip. A uh, C I S A S I C. A-S-I-C. Uh, <laughs> You've done ASIC, a lot of research, I can tell. No, I just, I, I can't spell. Um, an ASIC is a computer chip. It is essentially a um, a dedicated piece of hardware. I, I was going to say, I looked up your spelling and Google suggests assist. <laughs> A-S-I-C. Uh, application-specific integrated circuit. So essentially an ASIC is a, oh, a, a chip. ASICs, I don't want to say yeah. computer chip, but it is a chip that has hardware on it that has been been designed to do a specific task like a, a computer like a microprocessor is an asic but the job that the microprocessor has is to be a computer so it's meant to handle instructions and to move data around whereas an asic um that just sort of does something else can do something as simple as like decoding like taking like like four inputs and then lighting up a seven segment display appropriately so you can like decode binary into a seven segment it's like it, it's very like specific tasks if that makes any sense. Like you could make an yeah. ASIC that just is like a counter. Like it just counts up. So like every time you tick a pin, it like counts up. That'd be like a really simple ASIC. Um, and so they design these chips that yeah, are like specifically dedicated made. components on the chip yeah. that only do one Correct. thing. Correct. It's not like a yeah, computer even. Yeah, the chip even. itself, right. It's, it's like a, oh. you know, it's the difference between a graphics card and a CPU is like graphics card does something different than a CPU does. Um, the Bitcoin ASICs or the crypto ASICs will very, very, very efficiently mine cryptocurrencies because they're they are only designed to do that. So they're hyper optimized. Oh yeah. Um, they can't do anything else for you though. So I was just thinking that like you have a byproduct <laughs> of heat, and heat is bad. But where do you need heat? Like how many of these would you need to heat your pool? Honestly, probably like one. <laughs> Well, <laughs> like a three thousand um, watt. I mean, the like pool has a three thousand watts, right? And if it makes three three thousand watts running twenty four seven, though, so it's like that's as much power as like a Tesla car battery, like a long range car battery every day. Oh man! But every twenty four hours, water, man. Let me see. Let me look up an electric pool heater right now because they are. That's why. Yeah, I think I, I think I based it off that. I don't know. Because I have one, I have a gas pool heater, and it puts out like twenty two hundred thousand BTUs or something like. Re- Ridiculous, and it takes over twenty four hours to heat the pool. Okay. So, and no, like, but hear me, hear me out, hear me out. You intercept the sunlight, you turn it into electricity, you turn the electricity into crypto, and then you turn the byproduct of heat into heating the pool. That's good. I mean, that's good. You're saving money there. You could also why like, use the sun to heat the pool directly when you could force the sun to make money for you? Yeah. You know, there's a bunch of heat up in my attic too. It's like 120 degrees up there. You could like put a radiator up there and put all that heat into the pool too. And right. cool the house, save money on air conditioning. Okay, we can see your garbage again. No, don't look. <laughs> Kevin, why don't you just put your camera on uh, manual focus? 
No, because look I at you, Mister you, you Nerd. What is? I know. <laughs> yeah, look at you, Mister the ugliest setup of all the setups. Oh, look! Now That's I put nice. it on manual focus, and it was focused oh, yeah. on my hand when I. Nigel's did that. camera isn't even straight. Look at the backgrounds all crooked. <sighs> yeah. How cold is it where you're at right now, Nigel? It's not. It's not bad. How cold does it, it get? It is. Do you know how much it costs for a three thousand watt, crypt like ASIC though? That's like ten grand. Yeah. No, it's more than that. Yeah. So I yeah, mean, the, the mining rigs. The mining. So that's the part. Right that's that's the expensive. part that you well, forgot. Okay. The scheme. <laughs> the scheme gets better, but I don't really want to talk about the entire scheme. The secret. If I, I if think I we should talk about it though. By saying you can't say that it's a secret. Because I don't think. We need somebody that knows what they're talking about better than oh, us. Oh, <laughs> is this a, is this? Oh, you know what? That's actually genius. We're gonna say something, and then someone's gonna come in and tell us that yes. we're wrong. Yes. No, we're gonna say it wrong, and someone's gonna correct us. Okay. Here's the full scheme, <laughs> and I I personally think this is brilliant. Um, apparently, if you own a business and you buy solar, like if you buy solar panels and equipment, that allows you to write off the solar entirely the year you bought it which normally is not how buying equipment works. Normally, if you buy like a car or something under your business, you can only write off the depreciated value. So if you buy a car and it's worth 50 grand and the next year it's worth 40, you can say, I'm going to write off $40,000 because my car is essentially worth 40,000 less. Like I lost 40,000 or I lost $10,000, sorry. Because you can always turn on and sell the car. So imagine buying a car for 50 grand, like a work truck or something. And people are going to be like, what car are you buying for $50,000? Um, and then you sell, you like you, you buy the car for 50,000 you get the fifty thousand dollars tax write off, and then you immediately sell it for fifty thousand dollars. You can see the problem, right? Yeah. So normally, when you and buy so something for a business, right? Say you buy something that's one thousand uh, dollars, and you you write off that that purchase for your business. You don't actually get a thousand dollars off your taxes. You only get like three hundred dollars because that's like the tax. Well, but that it's it's your tax burden. So like if you make, so let's say you make. Okay, we're just gonna play with low numbers that way. But why are we doing taxes mad. now? I don't. Oh no, this is the scheme. I'm this describing the, the scheme. Part of the last, scheme. Last episode, we're going we on a tangent about scheme last scheme last round right now. <laughs> yeah, last week we talked about <laughs> fighting people, and now we're talking about taxes. Um, are you are you telling it so that we get it, or so that the audience? Understands? I still, I'm trying I to explain still the whole don't thing. understand this. Okay, what the, the scheme, scheme or taxes? The taxes. Both. <laughs> and, and uh, okay. by extension the scheme if you if you make if you make ten thousand dollars which you're not gonna pay any tax anyways if you make ten thousand dollars and you mm -hmm. buy a piece of equipment for thousand dollars that's for your job for your business yeah you only pay tax on nine thousand dollars so you say ten thousand dollars minus the thousand dollar piece of equipment i'm gonna pay tax on only nine thousand dollars does that okay. make sense yeah that's what the deduction you pay tax is. on the nine thousand dollars and tax right. on nine thousand dollars like tax is really only a third of so you end up actually paying. Uh, you, you you don't worry about what you actually end up paying because okay that thousand dollars off what you're paying ends up being about thirty percent. So you yeah, pay yeah. three hundred dollars less. Yeah. Thousand dollar write off means three hundred dollars less in taxes, kind of. But it also means you spent. Oh, well, I Correct. wasn't listening it, at no, all. No, no, you're right. You're right. It, yeah. also mean, it also means you may have spent money you shouldn't have spent. So it's kind of like a yeah. like a gray area where it's like if you don't need to spend the money, don't spend the money. So the thing with a car is there's certain purchases where you can't write off the entire expense. Wait, I just want to so say this buy, This is why charitable tax donations are a scam because you're still going to end up spending more money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> same with art, dude. Like art is the same way where you can like, you can totally jack up the value of a piece of art and then get a deduction for it. Yeah. Um, so if you buy a car, so let's say you make a hundred thousand, let's say you make $50,000 a year. Okay, you, 50, you make fifty thousand dollars a year, and you buy a car for fifty thousand dollars. You're not allowed to say I made zero dollars this year and not pay any taxes. You can't do that. So what they do is they say, okay, well, there's like a depreciation. So you, because the car is like only maybe worth at the end of the year forty thousand dollars, you can write off ten thousand dollars from your taxes because you still own a car that's worth forty thousand dollars. You still have something that you could sell for forty grand, if that makes sense. Yeah. So you'd be like double dipping. So then you. you Right, so you'd well, be double I mean, dipping. Basically, the general thing is you can only write off loss. That's just basically correct. It, right? right, but if you buy, so a you piece can't of write camera, off. Yeah, but camera mm -hmm. equipment you can write off entirely. No, not yeah, at least not in Canada. Know. I mean, here you basically can. If you like, no one's going to ask any questions. Yeah, exactly. You can you can write it off if it's no <sighs> longer uh, has no value. So you have to like. Yeah, break but it. that doesn't make any sense because like the cameras that are ten years old still have a little bit of value. 
So you can't write it off. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, long, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm going to jail. You can um, write off, I, in Canada, you can write jail. off tools. <laughs> You can write off tools. So if okay. you buy like a hammer, it's 100% yeah. or like a saw. But solve you could still, you could still sell the tool for money. But nobody buys tools. And then there's the argument of whether I, or not a I camera know, is a tool you, or not. You see, you you see can, why it's you so You can take confusing. that to court. Okay. Long story short, a car, <laughs> you're not allowed to write the entirety of a car off. No. Long, long story short, if it weighs over 5,000 pounds, you can't. So if it's like a full <laughs> truck, you can't. <laughs> so a lot of contractors, yep. this is my CPA told me, a contractor is if they have a really big year and they don't plan on having that big of a year the next year, they'll go spend a bunch, they'll go like buy like an $80,000 truck and they'll be able to write that off their taxes for that year, the 80 grand, they'll pull it off their mm. total income. And that's why um, these car companies specifically keep their cars heavy. It's probably part of it. It really it is. Might actually all be part of <laughs> it, it actually is. So <laughs> key for I tax be, reasons. I, general, yeah. like some of these details could be wrong, but I think these the ideas are generally right that we're talking about right now. So here's the scheme. The scheme is that solar for your business is 100% write offable in the first year. I think. <laughs> I still have to talk to the CPA and I'm, I'm maybe talk to a lawyer too. So if you if you install like solar in your house, which could cost like, or if you have a property, like you have an office or something, you could spend like $40,000 like installing solar. It's pretty expensive to install solar. But then you can write off, if you're a business, if it's under a business, you could then write it off. But the problem is for it to be a business, you have to make money. Mm, $1 at least, right? Well, you have to be profitable. I don't really know what you exactly probably the should make is. at least forty thousand. So, so when you write there, it off, so oh, hear me out. Is there, a, is there a machine that can turn electricity into money? Hmm. Well, ads on I YouTube. Know. Tell us. No Bitcoin miner. <laughs> I was I joking. Know, I know. <laughs> God, Damn it! This was, that was for the audience when, anyway. You know. I can't exactly. tell if you guys are joking half the time because it actually or we're is just, that, it's actually we're that just, bad. <laughs> it's either we're joking or we're not paying attention or we're dumb, and all of them are equally possible. <laughs> <laughs> so now imagine this: imagine you 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 start a business, you buy solar panels and a, a, a crypto miner, mm -hmm. and then you run a business, a profitable business where it pays for itself and makes some money. And you get to deduct all the initial investment up front off of your taxes the year you bought it. So, you, so you're not spending money. Well, I mean, you are. No, you're spending the money you that are. you normally <laughs> would have been spending, but you also are getting to yes. keep that money so and kind buy of, something that's investing and making you money. Yes. Yes. I mean, I get it. So what? So let's say let's say what, what's the upfront cost? So let's say a hundred thousand dollars, and then you pay taxes on the yes. bitcoins that you're mining, but. Like we've yes, said before, yes, it's like, exactly you pay taxes if, on the Bitcoin that you mine. Yeah, but if you if you wrote off a hundred thousand, yes, right. Based on the fact I'm looking at the Bitcoin miner and it's fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for the. Oh, let's say it can be as low as ten. Yeah, you gotta I'm spend money you, to make money though. Max I, your but credit I'm cards you, out. You folks. said solar is forty k and the Bitcoin miner is at least ten. I'm assuming you're not buying all the solar and buying one miner. Bitcoin is only going up. It's only okay. going up. I have this bad, is financial. I have bad news for my you. question. Though. I have bad Listen news. Listen, my question. You. Forty thousand dollars worth of solar is literally a shit ton of power, but can only run one miner. <laughs> Oh, Good no. God. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So either way, okay, let's say so you bought two times the solar and two miners. So I, have a, I, have a, I have a spreadsheet open right now with all my calculations. But this let me ask my question. So, okay, you're scheming. so hypothetically, so like I said, now you got two solar things and two miners, right? Yes. Let's say for $100,000, American too, so you know. You're but, making yeah. two just, or just, $300 just, so, so you, a week. But so if you were to write off $100,000, Yes. Assuming you earned more than a hundred thousand, so you're not going. I right. Mean, I guess that, but if you could spend, you could spend fifty thousand dollars on this setup because you can't write <laughs> off a hundred thousand if you made less than a hundred thousand. No, no, but you can. <laughs> you can write it off because you have other income. But it means that you're spending I, eighty thousand. So yes, my question is, I haven't how to long lo does it take to take to get that money back? Oh, 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 oh. okay. So uh, it takes. So right now I have. Um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You seven no, 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 just no, think about no, this. That no, money no. would be gone, hundred percent gone anyway. Okay. Yeah, but so no, but anything Kevin, but you Kevin, get back is good. No, no, because I'm, what I was saying was, if you spent hundred k and you write off hundred k, let's say, let's say your company made two hundred k. Yeah. And you you write off hundred k. 
in order to spend that, that was money you had, that was profit. So you just spent a hundred and you're gonna save at least in Quebec 20, which means that you're actually less, you're 80K below if you just paid taxes. All right, here, let me, let me, let me. No, cause it's, a business, it's like a business expense. So with that. Yeah, it's an, inv it's an investment. <laughs> it's an inv I'm saying that if you had 200K, let's say total profit. Dude, I wonder, I wonder what Quebec. we're gonna talk about next week. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say 200k total profit. So the that's IRS what the government to is going to be like. We we want we want a we want a piece of this 200k. In Quebec, you pay like 40. You just pay 20 percent on that. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. But so but you go. I want to pay less tax. So you put a hundred thousand no, dollars. No, you just, in this you just investment. put your 40. Just only the 40 that you owe. Buy forty thousand dollars worth of solar panels. But if yes. you but if you buy forty thousand dollars, that means you're now your tax burden yes. is one sixty k. Yeah. 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 Uh, if you made 200, which you, yeah, if you, you went from 200 to 160 and now okay, you let's just say, owe, let's say, let's say, let's, you don't let's, know 40, you owe like 30, right? Let's lower. No, but okay. Let's talk about, let's, let's stick. Like say your income is $50,000 a year. I'm just saying on the principle that if to lower your tax, you have to spend money you no, have. I know. Means but, that, but yes, but, but, but you're <laughs> not spending money. You're starting another business. So you're essentially, you're like, you're kind of playing the future. Like you're saying, I, instead of paying money right now, or instead of having to pay this extra $20,000 to the government, I'm going to take $50,000 and buy this like solar, make a solar business. I understand, I then, understand the idea. I, 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 so you're, you're kind of like, you're pushing it forwards. So you're sort of pushing your tax obligation into the future. Oh no, I, I'm with just the saying hopes that, that you can use more money now to, I'm saying to make more money if, later. If I did that, right? With my hypothetical yeah. situation of 200K, if you spent 100, you now have 100, right? Someone's shaking their head right now. So Dude, I, I'm just, shaking you know, my head. Just, I like, no someone's I'm totally Someone's lost. like raging. Like okay, okay, are... Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. You owe the government, not owe the government, sorry. You declared that you had a profit of 200K. Okay? All right. God, I need, just, I need to do <laughs> yeah. chemistry, you too. So you, you claim that that was your total profit. So the government is like, you owe us a fraction of that, right? Yeah. What if my profit's negative 200K? Well, then then you, then you should you not be buying $100,000. You scheme all your money away in Bitcoin so crashes. So you're declaring that your company made 200K, but you're like, I don't like that. I want to spend it all, right? I want to pay no tax. Yeah. So then you buy $200,000 worth in William Osmond's scheme. Fee bucks. Right? Or anything. So then you go, now my company made zero, yeah. correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But- if you just paid the taxes, you owed 40K, which means that if you just declared your taxes, you would end up, you'd still have 160K in cash. So to do the, the scheme, you spent 160K yeah, but it's an investment. of money you could have kept. It's, you I still get have that. this so money. I'm saying yeah. that it's still, your money it's is like still you, there. It's just not, I, I the get government that, doesn't I'm saying have how long does right. it take to get yes, that money okay, back? So, so uh, that, that's all takes, I'm wondering. It takes. I'm just about, wondering what the return is like. I have my spreadsheet. Do not fear. William Wait, has done I, his. I, I feel like I explained that so many times when everyone understood it the entire time. This is the the human mind can only <laughs> hold so many ideas in their head for a certain amount of time. If you had, if if everyone had the ability <clears throat> to hold on to information for like an additional thirty seconds, we'd probably be living on the moon right now. Um. Did I tell you how much money I, I just spent on this video we just shot? It's the most expensive video I've ever done. And I, after visiting Mr. Beast, I basically told myself, like, I need to, I mean, also the sort of like the I'm done thing. Like part of part of me, it's just, I'm exhausted, dude. Like making videos by myself is just exhausting. Like I, it's yeah, me, it's I do much. everything and people don't understand how much work it is. Like I literally don't stop. Kevin, do you ever stop working? Do you work every day? Every day I'm doing something, yeah. And if Saturday, I don't, I Sunday? feel guilty. Yes, what about you, Nigel? Oh, wait, I've, I was going to say, just to add on to what you're saying, is that I think the part that people don't see is that when you start running your own business, you end up just getting stuck on the phone being like, oh, your taxes are due and now you have to go and meet with the accountant. Oh, my or you go, Oh, God. I have all my expenses. I have to categorize them. Like, Nigel, you have, you have like two friends work. You have your brother and then Reggie that work with your channel, and right? And technically behind, like, Zach. We're, we're getting him to help us edit. Yeah. So that's like four. Just, Will has M Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Also it's, his Dude, friend. you know how much money? Also, also my, like so your friend I was say, and then me, I have like, yeah. my, I have Sam my, mom and my brother. Works right. for me. She does the- Oh yeah, um, Nigel employs his mom. Uh, that's the funniest thing ever. It is. I, it, it, it was funny because of how it like slowly evolved. 
But she like, I'm the boss she en- now. <laughs> <laughs> she enjoys doing um what's it called? Uh she likes doing administrative work. Mm. So like what she handles for me for like just it was a nightmare here setting it up, just getting a dump like a, a dumpster behind the office. A dummy thick. Took like hours of on the phone and then just going back and forth, like, you know, uh signing things, sending uh sending void checks and everything, just to have a dumpster behind the office. Um there's just a lot of random stuff that she yeah. ends up just she doesn't work very often. It's kind of like she comes in for a few hours, like a few times a week, but it's like she just keeps everything organized, but just keeping things even just like paying people. Yeah. Was I never Do remembered. You, oh yeah. Yeah, it's so much work. It's so much work to like and then like oh, you want to do you want to give people health insurance? Like I it is such a nightmare. It is such a nice. I'm saying you do all to, of that and that. you realize that an it's a, hour it's a second of your job. day it's, every day yes. is just taken up. It might even be more than that. Like it's actually a yeah. second job to do sort of managerials. Like you almost, you literally, mm. if you want to have employees, you have to have one employee and that employee has to handle like HR and insurance. I mean, and that's stuff. what my, well, not HR, but my mom does all the pay and everything, which has been great. Cause she's very, she's, she likes to keep a schedule and she's very good at that. Um, so it's like, I mean, even just, a small thing. We want to sell beaker mugs. Mm. It has been so hard just to have them made and sold. It's yeah. taken my mom and my brother like months and multiple conference calls, everything. And there's still problems. And yeah. it's like, if I did that, I mean, it just, I wouldn't have time. So they just would never be done. When so, I tried to buy the the wax from this Chinese guy, mm. this like Shenzhen polyethylene wax, mm. was, like this whole Twitter debacle, it took me like over a week. Yeah. And I was staying up to like three in the morning so I could talk to this guy. Yeah, that's the worst thing about dealing with China because you have to like, mm-hmm. they're 12 hours ahead. You're behind. Yeah. No, nah, man, I do everything over just, Alibaba Just chat. to buy some it's wax. Great. Yeah, I've been but trying it takes twice as plastic. long because you only get like one yeah. message per day. Yes, per day. <laughs> I know, it's great. Like, it's insane. Like, I, people, <laughs> they don't see it, dude. They don't see, should we talk about, how much should we talk about the Mr. Beast stuff? No, that's what I was going to say. I was saying, Nigel, four people. Will has like two people. One. One, one well, person. Well, then there's, there's also person. like manager. Guess this, bear in mind, this is this was Mr. Beast's way biggest video by far. He said that he spent, what did he say on Twitter? $2 million spent on yeah. making this video yeah, happen? Yeah, or something. Guess how many people he had like working on this video? I mean. I mean, you know. Just, I just want these people to I, imagine what a, a big video well, and here's the thing too. It's not even just the people we saw. Yeah. It's like how many people went into the planning yeah. and like building everything and the editors yeah. and then, Ugh. you know, the whole managerial. We didn't see the people who organize it as in like every single person who's in the challenge has to give their personal information. Mm-hmm. They have to organize how they're going to get there. They have to organize just, just yeah, managerial the, the, wise. The bus driver is to horrible. drive people there. Yes, like that would you have to count. hire all the buses, time book the hotels. Remember the crew? Oh, you guys didn't fly see the crew. people in. There's a whole crew that assembled some of these giant sets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm, I think. Yeah. I bet you, I bet you there were 500 people involved in setting up the the uh, Mr. Beast video, and I bet you then there's like another 500 contestants. Yep. That's, it's that's just the, the number of then there was us. It's like, yeah. dude, I I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, we were just, there was 12 of us. I'm yeah. I'm really excited. To, and I, we I barely to edit this made Mr. Beast video of us making this the squibs because like I'm really excited to show people the numbers because like one of the things that really pisses me off especially like the BattleBots subreddit is like notorious mm. is you have a bunch of like little kids who are like oh my god like like how much money did they spend on this robot like I think Red yeah. Devil costs like twenty grand or something to build and they're like I could build that for like five thousand dollars or like two thousand I was like no you can't like dude some of the like one of the Red Devil drive pods I think the motor is like twelve hundred dollars the motor gearbox combo is twelve hundred bucks. Because it's like a 400 amp motor what? or something disgusting like yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, going to say, oh, sorry, about the, the Mr. Beast thing. You ran out of money. Yeah, I you, ran out of money. Me, Kevin, yeah. Nar, and Alan were on, a third yeah. of your yeah. team was unpaid and yeah. we paid our, yeah. we paid for our own tickets there. And you still I spent, ran out of money. I, I'm really excited to like do this video and do a cost break. Which is insane. I spent, I spent do I even tell them the total? Or do you wait? It for was the- like, I mean, I could say like paying people. If I if I just do the total breakdown, but basically I spent like um, just in in just hotels the circuit boards. How and much flights and materials? Just I'm gonna do just the circuit just boards. Just the circuit boards. Thirty thousand dollars. 
Yeah. For yeah. for 500. I spent I like I I was and I'm spending someone else's money too and so it's like I don't really care talking about it. I spent $30,000 <laughs> making just the circuit boards. And this didn't doesn't include anyone's labor. It doesn't actually doesn't include any of my contractors that I hired to do this. It only includes the the um, or your assembly time. and manufacturing. Or it weeks. doesn't include my time at all. No, week three weeks of hell. Actually, it was like four weeks of hell. <laughs> it was wild. Like he was telling us, it what's was terrible. On. It was terrible for us, and we only jumped in yeah, at the very halfway end. through, like at the end. Dude, there were nights where I was sleeping like three hours a night. I like I lived in Colorado for like two days at someone who like someone's house who literally just moved in like the day that I showed up, who was also working on this project. Like, it, like just and I th- yeah. I was gonna say I think what's crazy. Sorry to cut you off, but I think what's crazy about all of this is that in his final video, all that he's, he probably won't even mention it. He'll probably be like, no, he hey, won't even. here are these things. Yep. They're, they're yep. rigged to pop. Boom. Yep. That's yep. it. And yep. it's just like the, 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 the sheer <laughs> amount of human suffering <laughs> that, that is behind it. that. And it's, it's just like a one sentence mention in the final video. Yeah. Jimmy is worried that, that it makes him look bad because of how like, how exhausting the project is, but like I knew it was going to be bad. Oh, and I, I, a hundred percent do not regret doing it. Would I do it again? I don't know, but do I regret doing I would. it? No way. Dude, no, it was, such, he was, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, I, th- I think here, here's the thing too, is that like, I mean, if he's afraid of looking bad, I'll say this, but I mean, sorry, I'm not saying it just because he's afraid. I don't really I don't care. Jimmy doesn't care what it's we think truth. anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah, probably not. It's the fact is like, oh god, I just forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Come I'll on, say man. that. I, I, it, oh, it was such a big project. Wait, wait, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Oh, no, sorry. I was going to say that. <laughs> His brain is riddled if, with worms. If at any moment we decided we didn't want to do it. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still mentally recovering from that week. Um, if at any moment we were like, this is too exhausting. We, we just can't do it. It's like they wouldn't, they would have just been like, oh, okay. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if it got, because they understood that the time constraints were very tight. And even talking to some of them, they're like, yeah, we know that a lot of times we ask things to people and if they can't do it, that's like, they can't do it. It's whatever, yeah. It was, it was a good break So it's just like doing- they understand, they totally get it. So if we went and just cry, we just said we can't do it, we mentally can't do it, he would have been like, okay, we'll have to figure something out. Like we're not yeah. forced to do it. Right. Do you ever like romanticize, like going and having a normal job? Like, yeah, it would be nice if like I actually knew what I needed to do and I could like, I had a schedule, I had to get this done. It was like all laid out yeah. for you. And then you do Dude, something that's what like- that's what this was. That's what this was. And oh my yeah. God. But I liked that. I, this I was, liked this it. Was it was so nice, much worse than a normal job though. It was, it was it, nice that like, yeah, you, at every moment you knew what you were doing. It was- yeah. uh, Oh my God, it's so hard. It's so hard to like explain that to like- like the audience of like how many unknowns, like what they see in a final product. Like I had no idea like where I was going. Like I'm hesitant to start filming videos because I'm like, I don't know, what do I say first? Like, I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To say, Every like, single what do line, do? it's like, okay, now where does this line lead to? And it's like, it keeps right. branching yeah. out into possibilities right. that you could see. It st- looks so much more cohesive in a, in the final video than it actually was in real life. Oh, man. There's, there's like, there's so much stuff that like gets stacked on top of just mm. like doing science and like making oh, videos yeah. that like that's the exhausting part. The exhausting part is like so we just did we just did the most expensive video that we've ever done. Um, it was it's a car it's a video where we I bought two cars and I overpaid for the cars just so that we could like film us buying the cars. Um, so I think <laughs> we, we bought we got like two cars for like twenty five hundred bucks each. But they were, you know, it was like $1,000 more than they were asking for. But then we rented a giant parking lot. We bought a bunch of tools and we like, we basically like massacred the cars. It was like, like how many parts can you take off of a car um, and still drive it, you know? If we had more I time, wish we could I have came. done more too. I wanted you to come to that come. one. I know. I was recovering. But it cost, guess I, I was cost? still recovering. I was dead. Sorry, how much did it cost? Yeah, how much do you think we spent on this video? So we had to rent a parking lot. We had to buy a bunch of power tools. We had to buy two so cars. 5, 000, we had I would say uh, fourteen thousand two hundred and eighty-six. Nine thousand. It was like it was like thirteen thousand dollars. Damn. Or twelve thousand dollars. But uh, I get to keep all the tools. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was jealous of that. I saw your tool haul, and I was like, damn. They got a port of band now. Finally. Uh, and the car, the cars are expensive and we had to pay $200 to get the cars taken away too. And then there's like, I don't even know if they're going to uh. give us the, our deposit back for the parking lot, but it's like, and that's like cheap for a video like that. Like if this was like a discovery channel shoot, dude, they would have oh spent God, like 50 to a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Like easily. And so like this is paying, 
Right. This is like two camera people. Uh, it was John and then one of his friends. Um, they shoot weddings together. And then like that was like basically like everyone else worked for free because it's just other YouTubers who are like participating in the, oh, Morgan. Yeah. And then Morgan was like orchestrating the whole thing. And it's like, it's so much work. Yeah. It is like, it sounds it's like an easy, so it sounds like an easy work. video, right? Let's right. take a bunch of parts off a card. That'll be a fun, yeah. that'll be good, right? And then it's like, what have I done? Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened 30 seconds into shooting? Uh, I card full. cut his arm open. He like, he cut his arm open on, on a, a broken window. Oh. <laughs> Did he like stitch him up? Did he just, he duct taped it up? Yeah. And, and so I, so like I stopped doing what I'm doing. We get the first aid kit and I'm like cleaning his arm. It's like right on some of his like brand new tattoos too. Cause he like, he like went through the window, but you know, like glass is dangerous. Cause like he went too hard and kind of carried through. Oh. Um, and so like, I'm, I'm like, I like, you know, it took me like 10, five, 10 minutes, to like clean it up and then get like the, uh, the suture tape and like tape to tape. Them that glass is supposed up. to like sh come totally shatter, right? Yeah. But if you shove your arm into it, like it's gonna. Yeah. Sometimes you. they have like a film on it, right. That yeah. holds it all together. Well, the front, the front windows are laminated. I think the side, the side windows, the roll up windows are not laminated. Well, so even explode. if you have like the tint, but anyway. Uh, so it's like, you know, it's like there's, and now I'm like patching him up and then we had, we had to pay for a security guard to sit in front of the parking. It's like, there's so much logistics and so much work involved that people don't like, cause it's like, I don't know, like, where's this video? Like we tried to weigh the cars and we used bathroom scales with two by fours to like link them together. And it was just too difficult. It was too difficult to do it. And we didn't have enough time because we didn't have enough time to buy an automotive scale because we booked the parking lot super late because the place we booked the parking lot from was like borderline incompetent. Um, and like, it just, dude, it's like, it was, it was amazing. The video is going to be amazing. It's, it was so damn funny and so fun. Yeah. But still at the end of that day, like I just, I literally fell asleep at like 9 PM and just slept for like 12 hours. That's probably the fastest you've ever done a video too. Like yeah. one day. My garage day is still filming. destroyed, dude. We just threw everything in the garage when we were mm -hmm. done and it's still destroyed. And it's like, I have to now take a day and like try to clean the entire mess up. And then, and then edit everything and then do voiceover we're work. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find an editor, dude. So it's like, yeah, but just one, so it's like one little idea like that. Best case scenario is like three days. The problem is you all, at least for me, I've realized that I just overcomplicate everything. Yeah. So it's like yeah. the the idea starts simple. Yeah. Right. You can be like, oh, I'm going to just, my idea is putting, you know, uh, a, I don't know, a piece of cheese in a blender. <laughs> then I'm like, but it has to be this type <laughs> I would of watch blender. That. Then I'm now on like a mission to find like a specific type. And then it's like, you end up just going down this this crazy like uh, adventure oh, to yeah. find specific blenders, specific cheese. Like what All cheese like, has the like right two, elasticity to blend the best? Yes, you're like two weeks in, or like, a, or not two weeks. You're like a day, a full day when you could have just pulled out the blender from your cupboard and threw whatever you had yeah. in your fridge in. That's why that car video done. was such a good one because it's it's like the yeah. perfect idea like that. It's the perfect balance it. where it's it's high effort, so you need a lot of help to do it. Mm -hmm. I think there was like ten people involved, um, but but it's also sort of like the lowest effort from like a shooting <laughs> point of view because you just, yeah. you're just yeah. destroying cars and you just have to kind of figure out like, you know, what's the actual goal? Yeah. I mean, Kevin, yeah. you did the, you did the, the one where you want to do the pogo stick and you're trying to build your own pogo stick. And I'm like, why the yeah. hell are you building? Like no one gives a shit. Like why are you building your own pogo stick? But see, that's an example of you being like, you could just demo one. I felt like but I felt your like head, you'd be like, cheating like, if I just not, got this. Yeah, exactly. Stick to show right. You're but like, no, it's, dude, it's but almost nobody too cares. simple. I need to build it myself. Yeah. And if anything, like nobody actually. It even probably would have made the video worse. Own. Yes, I guarantee it would have made the video worse. Like you would have, but that's the problem. You like Kevin said he like. I, well, I was hoping I would make like it, and it wouldn't work. So it was part of the story. Like, look at this piece of trash. Mm. Yeah, but you don't even need to do that. You could literally just say, "Look at this crazy thing I found on eBay." Yeah, I mean, I understand that feeling. Yeah. And it's just, I find it's how the videos and the channel grows where you feel maybe because you have a channel that people, a lot of people watch. So you feel that if you just demo something, it's like not worthy yeah. of how many people view it. So that you want to just come up with artificially complicated things just to make it feel just like for the it's story. more valuable. I, I feel like we'd all yeah, be men but mentally more well if we gave less shits about the videos. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do in general. My next video is going to be <laughs> but it's me so hard. struggling 
with these nitro engines and I'm never going to get a single one to work. That's going to be the yeah, Finally, the camera won't focus on Kevin's trash. It won't focus. It looks like it looks like a dude, like a weird toy guy. Okay, okay. now I it's can see ni- what it is. It's a nitro. Dude, these are horrible. These are horrible little things. <laughs> they're they're, they're <laughs> just terrible. He's making these awful screaming noises. Yeah, if you it's can like get a it mix to start. of a car engine with a cat that's being torn apart by a coyote. At 30,000 RPM, a cat just getting flung around <laughs> an engine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does like that little thing do? Ejecting the smoke that like burns your eyes. It's like yeah, it's spray. like it chokes you. It like rusts all yeah. the, everything in the garage. It, it's an RC car engine. It's a nitro engine, a little gas engine. Mm. Yeah, tiny. It's like a three three cubic centimeter displacement. What is it? What does it run on? Nitro methane nitro. and nitro. Methanol. Okay, sorry. Classic. Yeah, and it makes like <sighs> thirty thousand RPM, and it can do like one horsepower, or two horsepower, but at approximately zero torque. Like if you, you could like <laughs> grab it with your fingers and stop it. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, so all my plans for having it to like do stuff doesn't work. Like a blender, the second you, 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 gear you it drop down. something in the blender, it dies. Hmm. So why, why don't you um, uh, attach it to a gearbox? Like take an R, yeah, take a nitro you know, car and rip the whole drivetrain out of it and just attach the blender to like the tire. That's what I got now. I've got a, a like a slipper clutch on it. So once it gets above a certain R, you know, it'll just slip. I feel, dude, I I feel like people have done this video before. Kind How of. deep into this video are you? Dude, I have 10 days quit, Kevin. to get a video Will's out. telling you to quit. That's what I, I, oh, God. I, I told Sandra. I'm like, I should just quit this video. It sucks. But I, I might, think I'm, I, mean, I kind of, I kind of feel the same way. Oh no, I was I think, just joking. I think you should just do, do another uh, Dangerous Toys video where we make dangerous toys. All right, you want to fly out? Come to, Cali- uh, so- come, to, come to California. You, me, and Alan will make a or Dangerous Toys. Or how about you all age. come to Montreal? That's the real... Guys, send me video ideas yeah, in the comments. Kevin's, <laughs> Kevin's desperate. Kevin's desperate. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we'll put this video out tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Zach's problem. He's going to edit it. Oh God. Uh, they only go out on Thursdays. Dude, Mr. Beast, they like they were telling us that like they scrap a ton of their videos, like way mm. more of their videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way we were talking to his, his like production guy and he was telling us all the ones that he couldn't do. Or like, you know, they they yeah. did and then ended up just not, you know, and, like, oh, it's not. And just Jimmy didn't it. Jimmy didn't like them. Which is also they have just like logistical I, I was just thinking He's about put the how, compilations up before too of like Yeah. Failed videos. I was just thinking yeah. About how you were saying it was a nightmare getting a security guard in a parking lot and the cars at the same time. And I was like, imagine some of Jimmy's projects where it's like they need to get 10 times or 20 times that going all on the same day. And he was just saying, he's like, you know, sometimes there's a few things you need and they just don't show up. (gasps) And then you go, okay, we can keep people, you know around if we pay people for their time right. but there's a there's only a, li- a certain amount of time you can do that until you're just like scrap the project Dude. so it's like you put all of this stuff together <sighs> over the course of like two weeks and if it doesn't all come together at the same time or it does and then it's just there's one thing missing they try to work with it and it's just not how jimmy likes it and he's just it's I want to do. The video. I want to do more stuff that's like real time, where it's like I can do. It's like yes. closer to what people think the videos look like. That's the, like the car like, video, like, like us doing the dangerous like the car toy video, video, dangerous toy, or like the Roomba pudding mm. video that we did in yeah. the, pad, the tungsten cube. Where it's like it's like you basically spend one day doing something fun, and it turns into like an interesting video because the videos where you have to like build a project and you have to document the whole thing. Like, dude, they're they're you do this whole mountain of work because like you don't know how it's going to turn out like when we're doing no, the, me- the no mechanical idea. tv do you ever see the mechanical tv video yeah it was like a oh, month yeah, of yeah, work and it's still like it was just shit like the thing barely worked and i was sitting there thinking like how much time do i spend on this do i spend two months working on this like this is stupid you have to do it until it works but it did it kind of worked that's when i stopped is when it kind of worked mm. yeah and it, and then it's like like It's like, okay, cool. Now that I've spent three weeks or four weeks working on this project that kind of works, now I have to try to edit it together. Yeah. And like, I don't even know if I have a good storyline or whatnot. And so it's like, it's really intimidating. Like starting to like make a video is super intimidating. That's And and it makes me want to do like more simple stuff where it's like, you can just hang out with your friends and you can do something kind of wild. And then you kind of piece together this like more linear form Mm -hmm. of content. That way when people say that, you know, your videos are low effort. They're right. They're, it's true. <laughs> but, I, but I don't feel bad because having a high effort video be called low effort is depressing. I know, feels bad. <laughs> I mean, you but could. You're, like, you're right. It is low effort. It was very low effort. I right. still like to do projects, but I've gotten to the point where I don't even care about filming. 
Like, yeah, I just, mm, I just like, yep. I only save it for the day when I'm filming. That's when I do everything. I try to do all this of Mr. Beast then. one. I almost, I almost didn't film it. Hmm. Oh, I almost I'm so was glad just that you like, did. I think it's good. Yeah. You did. yeah. I think it was good. I did. But that's how I always feel after I do something. I'm like, if I didn't film it, like, damn, I wish I would have filmed it. Yeah. And if I did film it, I'm like, oh God, I have to go through all this footage. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that there's two different types of projects or a few, I mean, a few different types, but it's like, I think that the stuff that you can do in real time and then edit together, kind of like we said, the tungsten cube and all the, that other stuff, it that offers one thing, but then doing right. like these in-depth, multi, you know, long-term projects, right. they do offer something else. They're not a right. replacement for each other. Exactly. So it's like, if you want to do the quote unquote, like, they're not necessarily lower effort. You still have to think constantly like what shots you want, how you're yeah. going to present it's just, it. It's less draining. It's, yes. And it's, it's like when I have the second channel versus the main channel, it's like you can really, and since I'm not even holding the camera on the second one, you can really focus on what you're doing and you kind of forget there's a camera there sometimes. Right. So it's just fun. You Whereas turn on the main your channel, real, your true self. Yeah. The so real on, But on the main channel, it's like I have to be super careful about how I even move stuff because I go in the edit, if I want to cut through this quickly, I have to keep this in the same spot. Like you're constantly mm. thinking about how it's going to turn out, so how stuff's it's going to be edit, like jumping what the around, narrative it's is. going to feel bad. And then sometimes you film something oh for two God. days and you're just like, wow, that didn't work. So that's going to be one line in the final video yeah, or maybe right. not even. And then you try to do it again and you're like, should I even be filming this? But like what you said, you go, if it doesn't, I, I so you don't know. You're like, I'm going to film it on the off chance that it's worth filming. You know, like and when sometimes when, it's a waste of time. When we did this Mark Rober lemon battery video years ago, mm. I remember it was the longest video we'd ever shot. It was like four hours of footage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they going to say four days? Four no, four hours, hours of like continuous, like hours. of like kind of vlog. And it's not, this isn't really like four hours of time lapse. Like this is mm -hmm. straight up four hours of like, like actual like talking and content and going places in this. And it's mm. just like, oh my God. Like having to sort through that. It's like, imagine like you get a puzzle. And the puzzle is a 10,000 piece puzzle, but you can put it together in any way to make any image you want. And you have to like make decisions. You to have to do get that. it down it's, to it's, like a thousand pieces. Yep. You have to get it down to a thousand pieces and it has to be like a this, good way, but there's a billion ways of doing but it. But still just represent like, what the puzzle. image is supposed to look right. like. It's a puzzle, except the they, they, it's just squares. There's no nubs. So you can put them anywhere you want. <laughs> and it's like, it's too many choices. It's like way too many choices. I think you, like, you just... You before you edit the project, you just have to have an idea of like what you're going for. Yeah, but what if you have no idea what you're going for? You have a you have a title and a thumbnail. Well, I, I said yeah. I said you have to have an idea of what you're going for. But what for. if I you have no have idea? It, what then I'm you don't start. For. Then don't start editing. But then what do you do? What do you do for? Because dude, everything we, everything we used to do would be like more documentative, where we would just film us doing stuff and then try to figure it out later. So oh, so what I meant more is like have a vague idea of what how you want the thing to turn out. So it's like, do you want it to be funny, the video? Do you want it to be serious? Like, you have to have some ideas Well, sometimes of it's what like you doing. want it to, to turn out good, tough. and then it's such a disaster. You're like, okay, well, this is... Wait, Kevin, Kevin. It can change. Sorry. I'm saying, say I know, but saying whether you want it to be funny or serious is not whether you want it to be good or bad. Well, you okay, here, I'll give you, I'll give you an you example. Can, you can okay, turn you, it into funny if funny okay. good oh. versus funny bad. Oh. So you watch the video and you realize that you failed at everything. It's pathetic. And you go, it's comedy. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The, you you know, do that. The, the, the I'm done video, you know, I, I interviewed you guys first before I talked in the garage. Mm -hmm. And after doing all the interviews with everybody, it kind of made me depressed because everyone said like the same thing where clearly everybody like thinks about this stuff individually. Um, that video was supposed to be like trolling the subreddit. It was supposed to be like, oh, like you guys, you know, like, here's my frustration. Like I'm done, mm. like, you know, listening to, to comments. And then I was going to go on the subreddit and we, it was supposed to turn into the video that we filmed, Kevin, the, yeah, oyster, the oyster farming, farming. Video, where I did the exact opposite of what people wanted, right? Yes. Like put a poll the on the poll. subreddit and I was like, which video do you guys want? And then like, you know, they vote for like the robot. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to do oyster farming. <laughs> <laughs> and it like, and then it just turns into this like depressing, like, you know, like therapy session where I basically just express some of my, like frustrations and and like the you know the issues that people don't really see that come alongside of doing like a dream job of of like you know just because it's great doesn't mean there's not like downsides to it and also recognizing mm -hmm. that there's some kind of weird like mental blocks that like 
I can like every like everybody understands, but they don't really understand why. You know, like the sort of mean versus nice stuff. Um, and so the video, the video totally changed. Like I basically had to like scrap. I still don't now. I don't know what to do. This oyster farming video. Second like, channel. Videos, just, I think it was I, funny. Is it just second channel? But it's a good video. I mean, but I, would, I haven't edited it. I think you uh, need to do it. But if you can't figure out what to do with it, I would at least. I just I'm afraid to post it on the main channel and be like I went I became an oyster farmer for 24 hours which is quite literal like we were literally there for 24 hours yeah out there um, in the water like I think does, any, does anybody want to watch that though like I I mean everyone in the comments probably be like yes but yeah I don't know okay, I think well, you just you have will to... made this poll that says what hmm. you want to see me do and like all these good ideas and like the throw which was become an oyster farmer he didn't think anyone was going to choose this and I think most it of did the get people second place did choose that. Yes. It was like over 50, it was like 50% the uh, a vending machine where you pay with pain. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> it is a good idea. <laughs> uh, I think that you just have to decide what your main channel, the type of content you want to have there versus trash. the second channel. Um, and more trash. So, on the second channel. so like for me, I decided the main channel is more, I mean, it's, it's yeah, all Yeah, that's why narrative. you don't post videos there anymore because it's your expectations are too high for yourself. <laughs> no, like loop, because yeah. I yes, actually, yeah. yes, yes. Oh no, you don't know. Oh, good I can trash. Do you want me to tell you why? Quality trash. Yeah, tell, want us, to tell, tell you us why, why I don't post yeah. to the main yeah. channel? Yeah. yeah, how about you tell us why you don't post to the main channel? Oh, I thought we were talking about the um, second one. <laughs> there, it's, oh yeah, no, it's because I'm just going on my hard drive right now. I have one, two, three, four, five videos that aren't done. Yeah. What do you mean? Like okay. you filmed I'm them. done. <laughs> They're like some of them are more than half, some of them are 70%. The reason, and sorry, only one is done. And the reason I haven't uh, posted more is because the one that's done took me two and a half months to film. I mean, what it was happened, stupid. What happened to extracting lidocaine from anal? What happened to the good old <laughs> no. days? I know. I want to go back to what those days. What happened to molten The aluminum. other ones are good. The, the problem is I just... A I laser I, cutter I will. I the good old days. I know. <laughs> Where's laser cutter will? It's laser time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to give this a nice... I want to yeah. give this as a warning. <laughs> <laughs> don't work on five videos at the same time because then when you fin you do the equivalent of finishing one, every single video is only at 20%. Yeah. So you realize that after, if it takes you, let's say, two weeks to finish a video, but you work at them all at once, after two weeks, you're only like 10% done all the videos. <laughs> and then after two months, you're only 30, 40% done five videos. And then plus the video that took two and a half months, I worked for like three months and I just have nothing done. Did I, not even big projects. Did we I say in the last- I worked at way, way too many at the same time. The last podcast, I think we said something about the only thing that keeps us posting videos somewhat regularly is sponsorships. Oh yeah. Not for me. I that? just- no, because it's like, I, I don't we, know. we have talked about that before. It's like the deadline. The deadline? Yeah. It's like or it's almost like you matters. have to do it. Yeah, and so it's like the it's like oh well, I got to do like an all nighter to finish this because otherwise you just drag it out and drag it out and yep. drag it out and drag it out and drag it out. Oh, mine's not even procrastination. I just didn't. I just haven't had enough time to finish them. <laughs> but like, I have a deadline on this. One, yeah, but then you start video coming up. And this, one of them needs. Uh, one of them needs to be finished in like when there's no snow because I don't want to do it out. It has to be outside. And I just have, I wasn't able to finish it. Does it get cold in your office? I have a, a little scheme for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, this has to be done outside and I don't want to do it. With I got snow. a scheme for you. You can build a, a suit that has a, a ASIC Bitcoin miner this attached video to it. Is, this is This genius. podcast is sponsored by Tax Evasion and, pa <laughs> and Panama no, Offshore tax, Bank Accounts. Tax def deference. If anyone defer. knows how to get one of those Panama accounts... Let us know in the comments. <laughs> let me know. <laughs> let, us, uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, also, we don't want to go to jail. How do we pay no taxes? Yeah, yeah. That's what I told my let's, CPA let's when I first Let's hear your talked. schemes. Let's hear your schemes. <laughs> Dude, my, my new CPA, I was like, I want to pay as little tax as possible, but I also don't want to go to jail. And they're like, um, yep, that sounds about what everybody else um, wants That's what to. we're for. <laughs> so, one, so one thing that I think screws you as an American is if you live outside of America, you still have to pay American tax. Yeah, it's epic. Yes. Yeah, Canada, you don't. So I could move my entire operation potentially to just wherever there is no tax. There's a lot of states, Washington, uh, Florida. Don't go to Florida. I'd go to Washington before Florida. <laughs> but I mean, I guess, but I meant, I guess, yeah, you could just go somewhere in the US that has no income tax. <laughs> but they always, that's personal. Then there's, oh, no, there's always died. still corporate income tax, right? Uh, e but I guess there's no, 
So you just have to find, you could probably, what country has the lowest corporate income tax? <sighs> what happened? What happened to Kevin? I don't know. Kevin What's he doing? He's gone. <laughs> Does that signal the end of the podcast? <laughs> oh no. Let me just look up what country has the lowest corporate income tax. Cause then I can say I'm moving there. Uh, Hungary, <laughs> according to this website I found. So let's all move to Hungary. <laughs> I'm hungry. You can, I can save 10% of my corporate income tax. Is this where we say, okay, the next podcast, we'll see then when we're going to be recording after we've all moved to Hungary? <laughs> that would be actually amazing if we're all in <laughs> Hungary. <laughs> it doesn't even save you that much money. That's the ridiculous part. <laughs> yeah, right. but if you combine that with a Bitcoin mining tax scheme. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's not just the less tax. You you got to combine it with other schemes. <laughs> oh God, Kevin's, Kevin's back. back. I'm back. Is that the sign that we we end the podcast right now? Thanks for coming, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. You missed it. We're all moving to Turkey. Alleged. I mean, in my two seconds of hunger. Oh my God, I moved to the wrong country. <laughs> Are you hungry for Turkey? <laughs> oh God. Because well, then you would have all that um, a bunch of ex nice expensive dollars in a country where. That'll get you a lot of stuff. Exactly. Hungary apparently has uh, one of the, I think it says the lowest. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Never mind. Carib uh, Caribbean countries have no corporate tax. Never mind. We should just move to the Caribbean. I missed that line. Let's go to Cambodia. You can buy Bermuda, can buy Bahamas, Bahamas, and Cayman in Islands have. <laughs> I, they probably don't have 0% tax. Yeah, there. we should do that. We shouldn't. Because if people set off offshore stuff and then run it in the U.S., what we should if just, we just we should just go to the Bahamas to revoke and run it. Ship, though. What if we just yes. buy a ship and we fly the pirate flag on it, and then we don't have to pay tax to anybody, and then we like all die at sea from medical illnesses that we can't fix? So we're all going to the Bahamas, and you guys are revoking your citizenship. Yes. Wait, could we form a to religion? Save on tax. Yes. I, think, I don't know if that's easier or harder. Whatever, I don't care how young Tell I die schemes. as long as I pay less tax. <laughs> yeah, leave your schemes down in the comments below. How do we save as much money on taxes as possible? Almost every scheme that I've ever heard ends up being a lot of work and you don't <laughs> save that much. Well, you don't have to go to a country where taxes, where you don't pay taxes, just where it would be more worth it. All right, here's a scheme where mm. you don't have to pay taxes and you don't have to work, but you still get free room and board. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh you have yes. one. Yeah, I'm all yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you commit tax fraud and then you go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. I, remember I told my friend I told my friend once, like years ago, I was like, I was like, hey, dude, did you hear about this new thing where they get they're like they're giving out speeding passes? You just pay a ticket, like you pay like an upfront price and it gives you like one get out of a speeding uh, ticket for free. And he's like, Really? Like what is it? Like, when did that start? I'm like, it's called a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Also, wait, I was going to say that for your, your, your scheme, your going to jail scheme, um, the most important part of that scheme is you have to have made sure to not have paid taxes for a long time. Because otherwise, when you go to jail, you're paying for your own stay. Uh, that's true. So you true. You got to make sure that you didn't contribute to tax for probably like 10 years or something. So that like it's none long, of your dollars is, could, possibly, like, could possibly, could possibly long make con. it. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel with the long con. <laughs> you got to make sure You're right. not a single one of your dollars are spent on yourself. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, we'll see. We'll see everybody next week when we're we'll either, either be recording in from our, or jail. Or prison. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do a scheme review. Or we'll we'll be hungry. Or Hungarian in jail. prison. <laughs> we'll do a scheme review. Tell us your oh, schemes. Oh yes, yes. Scheme review. Oh my god. <laughs> That's yes. actually pretty good. Dude, if this is like a tax podcast, you could do like tax scheme review. Uh, I feel like ninety nine percent of tells your infinite money. Illegal. Tell us your IRL <laughs> infinite money glitches, or or zero tax glitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I mean here's the thing you never have to pay tax right like yeah, even this, if I mean I know some you don't pay it don't. you don't pay it you go to jail you get out of jail you never paid it true no they'll, they'll take it from you <laughs> they'll garnish your wage but what if you don't have a job yeah but you never what if you, you have it all never in, in NFTs money. what do they do with your NFTs oh my god what if my retirement account is only NFT <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. I was going to say, it's in that moment where you realize that your entire effort to save on tax made your life 10 times worse <laughs> than if you just paid your taxes. Yeah, it's not about saving money. That's about uh, making a point, <laughs> sending a message. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if you just paid your taxes, you'd have a much better life. <laughs> <laughs> So much time prepping for the the apocalypse. You've just sat in your basement for 40 years. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like the same thing. No, it's like the same thing, you know? Like you Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You spend so long prepping that you basically just wasted your whole life. That you forgot what really (laughs) matters. It's like someone that's so cheap, like they just keep saving their money, saving their money, saving their money. But then they they never spend it. And they never spend it. Oh, I've got a good one. You you collect injection molding machines for so long. Your garage has five hundred injection molding machines, and then you die, and your wife liquidates them all for twenty five dollars on Craigslist. And someone named William comes in and buys all your injection molding machines. Yes. All right. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys in prison next week. <laughs>